Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush, and this time we're in the open brush fork of the public new version of Tilt Brush, and we're going to look at some of the cool new tools that they've added. Today we're specifically looking at Snip and Join, and I bet you can probably guess what they're going to do. We'll start with Snip. Assume you've got a nice brush stroke but maybe you want to break it into two brush strokes, or maybe it's a little bit too long and you want to shave some off the end. Right now, this is all one long piece. Ah, you can see there's even a little break in it right here. So I'm going to take this one long piece and I'm going to switch to the snip tool. Now this tool does not have a size. It's always the same size and it's about one inch. Boink, snip, snip. Here's that flaw. I'm going to snip and snip a little more. If your line is too long, you can even use the snip to nibble away at the end of the line to make it as short as you want. Now each of these pieces is a completely separate piece. And I could, for example, grab this guy and move him like that, then grab this guy and move him like this. How about like that? And I'll grab that guy. They're now completely separate pieces. Snip. It's for either breaking a line or nibbling away off the end of the line. Snip. So now we're going to look at this other flavor, join. Join does exactly what you would expect. If I've got two ends that are close to each other, I can choose the first and draw to the second. First, and draw to the second. First, and draw to the second. And it turns this now into one piece again. So snip to break it apart. Join to join them back together. Now with join, make sure, for example, I don't try joining an end into the middle. It may try to find the nearest end to join to. No, it doesn't like joining to the middle there. So I'm going to grab it. Whoops. Ah, it did join. It's just not visibly one piece. So the join tool will try. It'll automatically join them together. But if you don't go end to end, it might not look right. Here's another case where it didn't draw to the end I wanted. So I'm going to go snip. I'm going to nibble away. Whoops. Undo. Let's nibble away from over here. There we go. Now we're going to move him closer to the end I want and see if I can do the join. Closer. Undo. Join from this way. Hmm. Obviously, I'll need to play with it a little bit. It's not a perfect tool, but it will allow you to get those pieces the way you need them to. So I'll, let's try one more time. We're going to grab him. Grab him. Ah, that could be it. Let's try snipping that apart. Now, maybe this is a normal piece. And now, maybe it'll join end to end. Hey, see, this does work. So snip and join. Part of Open Brush's new assortment of tools, very, very useful for what we're trying to do. If you find this helpful, let me know in the comments below. We do this all the time. Actually, we're going to do that one backwards. Uh, so let us know if there are questions you've got or if there are lessons you'd like us to do. Here we are. Open Brush and Tilt Brush. Snip and join. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Have fun painting in Tilt Brush.